Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for joining me in this session hosted by Leopard Imaging. This is Cassie Zhao, Product Marketing Lead from Leopard Imaging. Today, we are going to explore Leopard Imaging camera solutions with AI and edge computing on NVIDIA Jetson platform. Based on our agenda, I will first introduce Leopard Imaging to you. Then I will take you on a brief tour of our R&D and manufacturing capabilities. After that, we will go deep into how Leopard Imaging has successfully leveraged AI and edge computing on NVIDIA Jetson platform with three use cases of AWS Greengrass Machine Learning Camera, Leopard Imaging Thermal Imaging Camera, and Retail Inventory Robot Tally from Simbi Robotics. If you have any questions, please post them in the chat section. My colleagues and I are happy to answer your questions in our Q&A session. Leopard Imaging was established in the year 2008 in Fremont, California. We are a global lead in providing high-definition embedded cameras with OEM and ODM services in 3D depth camera, thermal camera, AI edge computing solutions, and other camera solutions. With offices and factories both in the US and Asia, Leopard Imaging has mass manufacturing capabilities both in the US and offshore. This is our new office and factory campus being constructed in Nantong, China. I'd like to invite everyone to visit our new campus when our life is back to normal after the COVID-19 pandemic. We have worked in the fields of autonomous driving, drones, IoT, robotics, AR, VR, AI-related products, and so on. Many of our partners are also in the NVIDIA Jetson ecosystem, such as NVIDIA, of course, AWS, Microsoft, and our providers of sensor for years, such as Sony, Omnivision, Onsemi, and other well-known companies and institutes. We also help our customers to leverage NVIDIA edge computing solutions, which I will talk about in detail later. Now, let's have a look at our R&D and manufacturing capabilities. Leopard Imaging has customized and manufactured DMS cameras for many customers. DMS cameras, which is for camera-based driver monitoring systems, provide a real-time assessment of the presence and state of the driver. The DMS alerts the driver and integrated safety systems upon detection of a risk such as drowsiness or distraction. This feedback enables the driver and the vehicle to take action before safety is compromised. The same technology is also used to check whether a driver can take back control of the vehicle after hands-off and feed-off autonomous driving modes. An additional benefit of a driver monitoring system is the ability to recognize specific drivers of a vehicle and then adjust the in-car environment to the driver's preference, seat position, temperature, entertainment, etc. Leopard Imaging started developing DMS cameras on Jetson platforms upon request by our European customers. As we know that in 2019, the European Union passed the regulation mandating automakers to install DMS cameras in all new cars on the EU market. By 2026, the law will include all newly produced cars on the EU market. 
with more countries and areas having new policies with driving monitoring systems. Leopard imaging is bringing new features in DMS cameras to satisfy the needs of our customers. So far, Leopard Imaging has launched automotive grade GMSL2 DMS cameras based on OV2311 sensor and ST Micro VG5761 sensor. All these cameras support NVIDIA Jetson platform and they are in mass production already. Leopard Imaging has years of experience in designing and manufacturing 3D depth cameras. We have developed stereo cameras for NVIDIA with Onsami AR0234 sensors. They come with global shutter and active alignment lens, and they are compact with NVIDIA AGX Xavier. Also in 3D depth camera. Recently, we partnered with Microsoft to develop TOF time of flight cameras. In this collaboration, Leopard Imaging is developing 3D industrial cameras for a broad set of industries, including retail, physical security, healthcare, drones, IoT, robotics, and automotive industry. Leopard Imaging is not only a well-known camera designer, but also a professional manufacturer developing products both made in USA and offshore. We have ISO 9001 certificates from both the US and China. For mass production capability in USA, we have active alignment machine class 1000 clean room, SMT and through hole assembly, and other on demand technologies and devices. Camera assembly and calibration is an important part of our manufacturing in the USA. Previously, I talked about our 3D stereo camera developed for NVIDIA robots. We have also calibrated stereo cameras for NVIDIA. Now, let's go deep into some successful use cases of Leopard Imaging products based on Jetson platform to explore the power of AI edge computing in our daily life. Leopard Imaging was the first camera developer joining the NVIDIA Jetson partner program in the year of 2016. As the NVIDIA preferred partner, together with decades of experience and innovative capabilities, Leopard Imaging endeavors to empower our customers with the state-of-the-art AI edge computing technology provided by NVIDIA. One of our achievements is Leopard Imaging AWS Greengrass Machine Learning Camera based on Jetson NXBox and TX2 box. We all know that AWS IoT Greengrass makes it possible for customers to build IoT devices and application logic. AWS IoT Greengrass makes it easy to perform machine learning inference locally on devices using models that are created, trained, and optimized in the cloud. Leopard Imaging integrates NVIDIA Jetson NXBox and TX2 box into AWS IoT Greengrass to develop deep learning models and deploy on the edge. The AWS Greengrass machine learning camera can be applied in the industries of predictive industrial maintenance, precision agriculture, security, warehouse, and retail management. One example from our customers is warehouse delivery robots. With built-in AWS Greengrass camera based on NVIDIA Jepson, the robot can identify its surroundings 
and take the most efficient route to its destination, safely avoiding obstacles and people. As our customer told us, without the need to alter warehouse facility with expensive and inflexible wires or sensors, the robot offers a fast return on investment with payback in as little as a year. The partnership of Amazon AWS, NVIDIA, and Leopard Imaging provided new solutions for our robotics customers in their robot development. In the previous part, I talked about how Leopard Imaging helped our customers to design and manufacture their cameras. Leopard Imaging has also developed complete camera solutions with AI edge computing to help business return to normal. Because of the COVID-19 pandemic, non-contact temperature measurement and mask detection have become a must in many indoor areas. Let's first watch a video clip to understand how leopard imaging solves the pain points of traditional temperature measurement during the COVID-19 pandemic. The coronavirus pandemic has changed our way of living. How can you stay safe as you try to get back to business as usual? Should you have dedicated employees at entrances to measure the temperature of customers? As some airports, factories, and office buildings with high volumes of foot traffic have tried. This method is not safe enough or efficient enough for your staff and your customers. Screening solutions exist in the market today, but the high cost has made it inaccessible for many small businesses. Leopard Imaging Thermal Imaging Camera provides high performance body temperature measurements to many people without human contact quickly and accurately by scanning their faces. Leopard Imaging Thermal Imaging Camera comes with state of the art patent thermal sensor technology and artificial intelligence solutions. Our thermal camera offers real-time facial recognition and mask detection to ensure the safety of everyone going through. With our friendly user interface, you can set your own parameters in Celsius or Fahrenheit, a temperature threshold, and mask detection. We also offer Amazon AWS support to measure data and alarm viewing in real time. Accurate, cost-efficient, and easy to use, Leopard Imaging Thermal Imaging Camera will help you keep your employees and customers safe and return your business to normal. Don't hesitate to contact us. Our thermal imaging specialists will help you with your purchase. All right. In the video, the traditional body temperature method, for example, a staff holding a thermometer to take people's temperature one by one, is not sufficient or safe enough for both parties during the pandemic. To deal with the pain points, Leopard Imaging developed a thermal camera solution, which is safer, faster, easier to use, more cost efficient, and at the same time, very accurate. How to lower the cost while keeping the high accuracy? Thanks to our AI research team, Leopard Imaging Thermal Cameras come with our patent AI technology to go without black body, but also with a high accuracy of 0.3 degree Celsius. This makes our unit price much lower than other thermal cameras of the same accuracy in the market. As a preferred partner of NVIDIA, we also leverage the power of AI edge devices by integrating Jepson TX2 box into our system to make the thermal camera run faster at a test speed less than 0.5 seconds for over 10 people all at once. Because of the TX2 box, you don't even need a computer. A monitor will be enough to check the situation everything plug and play. As a partner of AWS, our thermal imaging camera also supports KVS and KDS for customers to store and manage their own data 
flexibly and securely. Another beauty of our product is that we can add more features as you request. For example, we have customers in Europe who wanted us to add a feature that can count how many people are going through the entrance. So we added this new feature specifically for that customer. Now, let's watch a quick demo video to have a better understanding of its ability to measure the temperature and to check the mask wearing of many people all at once. With our success in developing thermal cameras, we proceed to explore thermal camera on NVIDIA Jetson platform for security and surveillance, monitoring and inspection, detection and measurement, and other applications. Please let us know if you are interested in implementing thermal cameras into your system. Leopard Imaging is here to help you. Now, Let's see another case of how Leopard Imaging helped the Singbi retail inventory robots to solve the pain points in the retail industry. When we are shopping in grocery stores, we can see the store staff hustle and bustle around to check whether products are on shelf or whether pricing tags are right. Imagine that one employee has to do that hundreds of times per day. It is a huge waste of time and money, both for the employee and the store. Our customer, Singbee Robotics, developed a good solution for retail store efficiency. Let's meet Robot Teddy here. Leopard Imaging designed and manufactured cameras for Robot Teddy based on Jetson platform. Our customized high-definition embedded 2D and 3D cameras help robots with object identification and navigation. With best-in-class optical system and superior sensing capabilities, Tally Robot became the first inventory robot in the market with computer vision, machine learning, and RFID technology combined together. NVIDIA Jetson platform makes the robot more efficient because the platform can process data from several cameras and perform onboard deep computer vision algorithm. This powerful edge AI capability enhances Tally's data capture and processing, providing Simbi's customers with inventory and shelf information more quickly and seamlessly while minimizing costs. This data has been helpful with addressing the surge in online shopping under COVID-19, enabling faster order picking through services like Instacart, helping to more quickly fulfill orders. Now, Tally makes rounds to scan store inventory up to three times a day, increasing product availability and boosting sales for retailers. This is a good example of how Simbi Robotics, NVIDIA, and Leopard Imaging innovate together with the power of AI edge computing for our daily life. Thank you very much for your listening. Now let's start our Q&A session. Good afternoon and uh, hello everybody. First of all, I want to thank the Kathy and uh, Lepo team for a great recording. 
in the presentation. And then thank you for all the attendees, all the partners. Now uh, the, I'm going to open up the session for question and answer, answer live. So if you can please uh, type in your questions in the chat box, that will be greatly appreciated. And then we have Kathy to address all the live questions here. Okay, so we do have a handful of questions. So let me go one by one here. Thank you for submitting all these questions. So first question is, uh, what are the benefits of using a active alignment machine in camera manufacturing? Uh, thank you, Durga. So uh, let me answer this question first. So active alignment, we know is a alignment process that compensates for component fabrication errors. It's called active because the assembly technician uses an optical return from the lens to set it into the final position. As I mentioned in my presentation, leopard imaging has active alignment machines. That's what we call AA machines, as well as class 1000 clean room. They have increased our manufacturing capabilities in the US. Uh, and the first benefit of using a machine is to do parallel or simultaneous adjustments of multiple elements in multiple DOFs. So positioning becomes more reliable and rapid. Another benefit is it's super precise compared to human alignment, especially in complex alignment situations, such as uh, you know with arrays or multiple sequential components where interdependencies can cause overall signal uh, degradation. Uh, also at the same time, our manufacturing cost has been lowered because we don't need many technicians to do the alignment. So operating costs will be lowered without compromising device quality. Uh, so with AA machines, we can have higher yield manufacturing. And if Anyone who's interested in working with leopard imaging on lens alignment, either in the US or in Asia, just please feel free to contact us. Thank you. Thanks, Kathy. And then the second question is, you know, what is the most recent project of leopard imaging with uh, uh, NVIDIA Jetson platform? Um, I think that there might be some secret <laughs> projects, but like the most recent one, uh, actually we know that NVIDIA launched the Jepson TX2NX and Leopard Imaging immediately tested the TX2NX working with our USB uh, 3.0 camera. And um, we will support our camera customers who want to use NVIDIA TX2NX. So yeah, so that's the, the most recent one. So then uh, you do have some cameras already supporting TX2NX? Yes. Good. That's really good. And with what interfaces? So you've tested that. Is it MIPI or is it uh, JMSL or both? Um, actually, uh, I will let my colleague, our engineer manager, Chang, to go uh, like a little deeper into the this new project with uh, TX2 and X. Chain, can you hear us? Okay. Yes. yes, I can hear you. Can you guys hear me? Yes. Okay, yeah. yes. So regarding TX2 and X, yes, uh, we, uh, uh, we we really just received this uh, TX2 and X like uh, uh, last week, and we have already started, like what uh, Caddy said, we have already started uh, testing it on our uh, USB 3.0 cameras, and then they, they all works fine. Um, and we also tested it on our carrier board. So we have uh, carrier boards available that will take, you know, uh, either the NX sum, and then uh, for this case, uh, it will be the TX2 uh, NX sum uh, that we put into our carrier board. And uh, it, it works uh, just fine with our carrier board. So um, in the next, um, you know, uh, couple of weeks, we will be, you know, uh, testing our MIP cameras um, and also our box camera, which is the GMS L2, uh, cameras on those uh, platforms. And I, I believe in the next couple of weeks, we will have a rollout for uh, the drivers for the cameras that will be supported uh, on the TX2 NX platform. Thank you very much. Sure. 
I think there is a follow-up question on that also. When will leopard imaging be available? The uh, cameras will be available on the TX3 and X. I think you answered in the next uh, few weeks, right? You're saying? Correct, yes. So the next question is, uh, what autonomous vehicle companies use leopard imaging cameras on Jetson platforms or the Jetson platform? Okay, uh, so in terms of autonomous vehicles, actually 70%, 75% autonomous vehicle companies in the world have used or are currently using leopard imaging cameras in their vehicles. And many of them have used uh, uh, Jetson platform um, because of the you know the NDA we have with some companies. I can only mention a few of them. For example, uh, Zooks, the autonomous vehicle company Amazon acquired last year. We help design and manufacture the cameras from scratch. And uh, also Baidu, you know the giant Chinese company who already has a uh, robot taxi running in many cities in China. So we also like design and manufacture and have been providing cameras for them for a long time. And uh, their Apollo platform also use uh, the NVIDIA Jetson platform. Yeah. Wonderful. Thank you. It's actually very good to hear that, you know, that you do have a very good market share in this space. Once again, congratulations. Thank you. How does Leopard Imaging uh, I think you you did talk about the thermal camera project and the product in your presentation. I think there was a uh, yeah. question related to that. How does the Leopard Imaging thermal camera project protect the data privacy of the users? Yeah, just yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you for asking this question. I I know like many people are concerned with the data privacy, especially. You know, it's like from a device that can capture your facial image. Um, but the good news is that uh, the leopard imaging thermal camera, only the user will have access to the data. So no third party will be allowed to have access. Um, and so as long as the user will not share the facial image to others, no one will have access to the data. That's how we uh, can protect the data privacy of our cameras. And also at this moment, we know like in California, like many school districts began to reopen and some are very interested in our uh, thermal camera, especially you know, for its data privacy protection of the, of the students. Yeah, so that's, that's my answer. Thank you. Yeah, you know, I know Leopard Imaging has very comprehensive product portfolio of cameras, you know, supporting uh, Jetson. So the question is, what kind of camera interfaces are provided by the Leopard Imaging cameras for Jetson platform? Yeah, so uh, thank you for the question. Um, so we do have uh, cameras that have uh, Fakra connectors, uh, which is based on GMSL2 and FPD link. Uh, we also support uh, Leopard Imaging cameras uh, with MIPI uh, IPEX connector. And then for those uh, MIPI IPEX connector, we have a IPEX adapter board uh, it, that can be used to connect to a interface board that would run on the Jetson Xavier uh, AGX platform and also the Jetson TX1 and TX2 platform. Um, and for those uh, two platforms, we can support up to uh, six cameras uh, running simultaneously uh, on the, the platform itself. And like I said, the carrier board, we also have carrier board that will take the NVIDIA NX uh, SUM or the, or the Jetson Nano SAM or the TX1 and TX2 SAM. Um, so for those cameras, uh, for those carrier boards, it will also support uh, up to six uh, cameras running simultaneously. Very good, thank you. Sure. Looks like you know you do offer, uh, you do support all the famous, or uh, the prominent interfaces from MIPI to USB to GMSL to FPD link and the multi-camera solution. Correct, yes. So on that note, you know, the follow-up question is, you know, does Leopard Imaging provide technical support if we use the Leopard Imaging camera on the Jetson platform and how does the technical support work? Yeah, that's a good question. So uh, we, we do provide uh, pre 
pre-sales and post-sales support. Um, and also, um, we also provide support for project base. So as you know, uh, if you go to leopardimaging.com, uh, we actually sell uh, cameras and um, you know the carrier board for uh, the carrier board or the interface board for the Jetson platform online. Uh, so that's our retail business. And you know anyone who had any questions uh, regarding sales or support, uh, they can always email us via sales at leopardimaging.com or uh, support at imaging.com uh, at leopardimaging.com, and we will um, you know uh, reply to those uh, emails uh, within. Uh, 24 hours or 48 hours, um, and then for those project support, uh, we we had a we we always had like a weekly meeting or bi-weekly meeting depending uh, on the project status. So we have a team um, in the U.S. providing support, and we also had a team in China uh, that would pro will also support um, customer directly. Thank you. So does the other question is does Leopard Imaging provide drivers and installation guides for the camera? Yes, thank you. That's another good question. Yeah. So uh, lately, there has a lot of uh, from our support team. There has been a lot, a lot of question asking whether we support the latest jetpack. Um, so the good news is that uh, we are, are beginning to roll out. You know. The, uh, our driver support for the latest uh, Jetpack 4.5, um, and we also support you know uh, those those cameras and Jetson platform that we do not have uh, for Jetpack 4.5 will be rolling out uh, shortly. And then if there is any needs for customers that uh, require um, you know support for the latest Jetpack versions or any Jetpack version, uh, we do provide a custom driver development uh, service. Uh, for for customers uh, who may be interested uh, in uh, you know we're uh, basically contracting us to do a um, a project for for their driver's need. Good, thank you. Yeah, sure. I think in the interest of the time, I think there's a lot of questions, but I will still take one more last question here. Uh, so let us get this one more question. So the the Presentation covers a lot of uh, great applications, and many of them are using, you know, uh, multiple cameras. So the question is, does Leopard Imaging pro support multi-camera applications and synchronization? If so, how? Yeah. So, uh, like I say, the um, you know some of our platform that can support up to six cameras. Um, and then in synchronization, we support the um, you know what what the industry uh, standard is, which is the master mode and slave mode. So basically, the slave will um, you know will lock on to the master to synchronize uh, the the image, uh, so that when the video are all synchronized, it will be captured um, uh, synchronously. Yeah. So we do support that in in most of our most of our cameras and the Jetson platform. Thank you very much again. Thanks, Kathy. Sure. Thanks, Chris. And uh, I want to thank uh, everybody, all the partners and attendees for uh, joining this session. So, and the recording of the session will be available next week. And uh, there is a lot more new sessions in the afternoon and also tomorrow as a part of the partners event. So, uh, please try to register to those uh, sessions. And also, we do have uh, tomorrow the Meet the Exports session as well at 9 a.m. Pacific. So please uh, register to that session as well because it will be the last session with the Meet the Exports. It will be a great opportunity for you all to uh, you know, uh, address any questions you have. And also, uh, as you all know, NVIDIA's um, GTC event is uh, next month, April from 12th to 16th. Uh, registration is now open. It is a free registration, so please uh, register to the event. And with that, I think I'm going to uh, close this session. Once again, thank you. Thank you all, and have a great uh, rest of the day.
Thank you, Durga. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good day.